Hi everyone, it's the Comic Fan Man here coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look at Mortal Kombat 11's Shadow of the Spawn. And um, <clears throat> this was the original uh, MK11 um, Spawn that I, that I got um, like in 2020, uh, somewhere around the Kickstarter. And apparently they released this figure sometime last year. Um, and I just happened to come across it, um, on Amazon and I didn't know that this figure even existed. So, um, the reason I got this is because this skin, the shadow of the spawn skin is a callback to the original spawn art design that Todd McFarlane did in 1992. This is... Um, a very close likeness to his original art from the very first um, Spawn comic. And I remember Spawn, uh, the release of the Spawn comic being a really big event in comics. Um, and because it was the, the first time where all the big artists from Marvel and DC were going to go independent to create uh, image comics. And it was a crazy time. This comic, the Spawn comic in 1992 actually came out one month before my high school graduation. And I remember reading it and being like wowed and amazed. They used like, I believe it was like the first time they used computer graphics for the for the coloring of comics at the time. It was really amazingly well done. And um, seeing uh, McFarlane's art um, on this character, you know, a lot of a, a lot of folks thought it was just going to be like another Spider-Man style character because he had a very similar um, look to the uh, black suited Spider-Man. But uh, but yeah, no, it's a, it was a completely different style. It was a very Faustian type character. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So let's unbox this and have a look at this uh, Shadow of Spawn, or as I'm going to refer to him, the classic Spawn. All right, let's open him up and take him out. All right, so here he is out of the box with all of his accessories out. <clears throat> Shadow of the Spawn, Spawn figure from Mortal Kombat 11. And as you can see, he came with this uh, Mortal Kombat peg stand. And um, uh, the original Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn that I got, um, he actually came with a regular spawn peg stand. So I don't know if maybe they just put the wrong one, but in any case, I have an extra spawn peg stand. So I'm actually not going to use this Mortal Kombat one. For him, I am gonna give him the spawn peg stand because he is spawn. And, <clears throat> and again, you know, the thing about this spawn is that this is based on the original look of spawn um they did um they did change up a few things and as you can see from this spawn here he does have the big gauntlet they share the big gauntlet and the big boot um but in the original spawn comic this ankle wouldn't have had the big boot it would have just been this um because that's what he had in the original spawn when he first showed up and he didn't have this big gauntlet here he just had two arms that look like this um so there was no such thing as the big gauntlet and the big boot all right let's take a look at his accessories real quick he just comes with these <clears throat> um spiraling barbed wire chains uh which look pretty intense i really kind of enjoyed the look of this and um both of these have pegs and they peg into the back of the figure right there uh, to make it look like the, the chains are coming out from the back of his suit from in between the suit and the, the cape. That's the way the chains come out in the video game. 
So it's kind of nice that they that they did that with these. Although, you know, these are just pl soft pliable plastic. They're not bendy wire. It would have been nice if they were bendy wire so that way they could have like kept the shape of wherever you put them. Um, but that's not the way they function. They basically they clip on and off and they no matter how you pull them or push them, they go right back to the way they were. But they are cool. I do like the way they look. And like I said before, I'm now giving him the spawn stand because he is the spawn figure. All right, let's take a look at the figure himself. Um, as you can see, um, these shoulders are a little gappy, um, depending on how much you, you open them up. It does open up a little gap. Um, but outside of that, this is, for me, this is absolutely the perfect Spawn figure of the classic Spawn. Um, <clears throat> the color scheme is exactly the same. The skulls here are the original McFarlane skull. That's really cool, and he has it on the back as well. As you can see there, this is exactly the way McFarlane used to draw that skull when he first started. And he looks <clears throat> very, very different from the first um, Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. As you can see, his mask, his face is very smooth. It doesn't have like that symbiote um, texture to it. And his suit also looks like a suit. It looks like a really cool like superhero leotard, which is the way he looked in 1992 when McFarlane released him. Um, he only his suit only became sim like a Venom symbiote type suit later on um, after Capullo um, took over drawing the, the the comic. But take a look; it's the same exact cape as the other one. And, uh, and again, for this one, he did not do any extra washes, but the paint on this is actually really good. Like the paint that was selected, the colors are beautiful. Like you don't like that. That's what I'm saying. Like sometimes, sometimes they, they do flat colors that are really, really good. Like, um, like in the Batman Arkham Knight, um, the prestige suit, I really like that figure, even though the colors are all flat because they picked a good color palette. Um, it's brighter. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, it's not brighter. It's not as bright as what the comic would be. But because of that, you know, the tone of this color really kind of captures the texture really nicely. It's not that really, really bright red of the the malik um spawn figure but this looks really good look it's got the the white stripe that goes down his arm all the way down into his glove which is neat it's got it on both sides and um there's apparently an extra chain peg here um so it looks like this must have been tied to maybe one of these chain thingies uh maybe one of them is supposed to be like it's it was tied to there but came alive and popped off who knows um but on the other mk11 spawn um this armband is on this side um but this is the way he was in, a, in the comic book really really cool and his 90s pouches Take a look at that. They even painted the little, the little belt buckles. That's fantastic. That's that's what I'm talking about. I love when McFarlane Toys does that when they go the extra mile to just to like paint these little extra details because it looks really really nice. And even this, um, even though again they didn't put any paint wash because of the the rich dark red that they picked, you know it looks really nice. Um, like the, that medieval spawn that he released last year, if he would have released it in this color tone, 
I think it would have made such a big difference to the way that figure looks. But because he picked such a really bright red and then he didn't give him a red gauntlet and he gave him like even like his big boot was not red. Um, yeah, it just kind of made that figure look really, really ugly, even though it's got amazing sculpt detail. Um, all right, let me uh, let's let's put the accessories on him and see what he looks like. All right, so here he is looking all menacing with the chains flowing out of him. And yeah, I think this is really cool. This is a really, really nice look. Um, the chains go on and off nice and easy. They're very flexible. As you can see, they peg in the back. Um, I did them sort of in this like a, like a crisscross formation just to make them look like they're uh, covering him all over the place. Really, really cool. <clears throat> I think this is a perfect, perfect uh, recreation of the the original costume. Um, let's take a look at his face up nice and close. Look at that. Look at all of that detail that they caught in here. Really, really nice. You can almost see like his eyes are like double molded. I like the shadow effect that they put around the green. I think it would have looked a little, I don't know if the, the eyes would have been as green if it was just all white around it. I like that shadow. It just makes the, the green looks like it glows in the dark almost. Um, be, just because of that slight shadow around it. <clears throat> The paint job on the on the suit is really nice. Really, really neat job. And there's a there is a some kind of texture on here, even though it's not the symbiote texture, even though it's like a fabric texture. And look at that. It even has a seam, some stitching. Really cool. I love this. I think this this captures that 92 um, design of spawn really, really well. All right, let's do some comparisons. All right, I found a little uh, spawn uh, necroplasm magic. So I decided to put it in his hands. And uh, here he is with the first um, Mortal Kombat 11 release figure. And yeah, you can very clearly see the difference uh, in these two figures um, where this one has the um, this one has more of the venom symbiote texturing. This one has more of the like just costume texturing. And it's really, really good. Um, also, his head is more oval shaped. This head is rounder. Um, but yeah, I think they look really good together. And, um, you know, they didn't have to, again, they didn't have to do the wash on this one like they did on this. Um, simply because of the, the color palette that they selected. And as you can see from the back, exactly the same cape. But because this one, um, uh, because they chose a, a dark uh, red, it was okay. It was okay without the wash. And it worked out really, really nicely. So I think they look really good together. Um <clears throat> And uh, yeah, I now have my classic spawn here. All right, here's the other Mortal Kombat 11 spawn, the, the Malphic, um spawn. And as you can see, again, really nice design, but because of the color selection that they did, did not come out that great. And the fact that he's also missing wash, you know, didn't, didn't really work for him. Like, look at the capes here. Like, because this is such a bright red, it doesn't look very good. This one is a more earthy toned, like burgundy red. And it just works. It doesn't need the wash because of, you know, just the, the color tone that they selected with it. Really, really great. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely um, a much better design than this one, even though this one has a lot more detail. Um, but just this one, the color palette just 
makes it really, really good. All right, and here he is going up against my glow-in-the-dark redeemer. Yeah, this this looks really good together. Um, I think their color their color palettes really did a fantastic job to um, make these figures pop without having to do a wash on them. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I I feel really really positive about this uh, glow in the dark redeemer. I was just, I was really, really happy with it, even though um, he followed the more recent pattern of McFarlane not doing a paint wash. The, the color scheme on this, the way everything is applied, you know, the fact that this is a nice like rose gold um, <clears throat> with this really lavish blue, it just, it makes, makes him pop and it looks really, really good. And that along with this spawn, with this color scheme, yeah, I think it works really great together. All right, and here we have Keith David spawn versus Keith David Hordak. Keith David was really the, uh, the amazing actor that brought spawn to life and um, in, Masterverse uh, Revolution. He was also the voice of Hordak and he brought that character to life. And my God, I can literally watch any animation that Keith David is voicing and just crack a smile because he just brings such fond memories. Um, whether it was Goliath from Gargoyles or, you know, Hordak or Spawn you know his 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 voice acting skills are really really amazing and he just brings such life to these characters and he did do the spawn voice in Mortal Kombat 11 like that was fantastic to hear all of his lines in there was so great and again another Keith David property voice acting was Goliath from um, Disney and yeah it was that cartoon was amazing it was ahead of its time really I love that cartoon and I was really really sad when I found out that Keith David was was leaving um, the Gargoyles franchise but then when I found out he was leaving them to do Spawn I was like oh shoot I can't wait to hear what Spawn's gonna sound like and uh, yeah again like this this works really well together too um this is from NECA toys but um yeah he looks amazing and definitely spawn is always fighting demons so you can definitely see that happening here all right so i hope you enjoyed this look at the shadow of the spawn mortal kombat 11 figure and um <clears throat> yeah, for me, he's obviously he's going to be the classic spawn on my shelf. Um, again, I did not uh, buy the uh, Kickstarter spawn um, simply because I had this figure already and he had such great articulation and paint job and sculpting done that I didn't feel it was worth me purchasing the Kickstarter because I didn't see anything in it outside of the really lavish cape that was worth purchasing <clears throat> but um yeah now i have my perfect um greg capullo styled uh spawn and my perfect original todd mcfarlane style spawn um on my shelves and i didn't have to spend kickstarter money to have them and uh yeah i think they look fantastic and i'm so so looking forward to putting them on my shelf all right, so if you feel that I've earned it, please give me a like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye now.